I'm going way back, and I'm playing Pokemon Platinum. Did y'all know there's an I in Platinum? Because I didn't. Quick things, uh, I will be doing a Nuzlocke for this, so the following rules apply. Any Pokemon that faints is considered dead. If the player blacks out, that's a game over. A player can only catch the first Pokemon they see in each new area. Every Pokemon has to be given a nickname. That's so that you grow emotionally connected with them, so that when they die, you hate it and you just want them back. Looks like we get to pick a gender. Not like how menacingly the boy runs at the screen. So I picked a girl, and obviously, I named myself Goose. Ah! Now I have to name my rival. He's my rival, so it has to be something evil. Something heinous. I got it. Justin. You know what you did, Justin. I wake up in my room and my rival just busts down the door and comes on in like it's his own fucking house. Either he stopped taking his ADHD meds or he's on literal crack because this boy can't sit still for one second. Together we're off to go see Professor Rowan, but his lab is on the other side of all this tall grass and my people are trapped because inside that tall grass are small birds and literal gods. Surprise, motherfucker! We ran into the professor and he asked if we love Pokemon. I'm not a liar, so I said no. I'm only in this for clout, baby. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. But then he just kept asking me. And asking me, and I can't tell if this guy is just stupid or deaf. You're, you're a fucking idiot. He told us not to put ourselves in danger ever again. So, obviously, I started fighting monsters like a responsible child. Then I got my starter. I could choose between Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. I picked Turtwig, and then I fought my rival, and then I fucking lost because my Turtwig is a fucking idiot who couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? Justin and I went off to a lake to go catch the apparent legendary that lives there. Justin asked if I knew which legendary lived there. I don't, you dunce. I just got here. I know nothing. When we got to the lake though, some guy was already there. Seems a little weird. Two kids, one man, no supervision, out in the woods, by a lake, I don't know. I'm just a full on rapist. Kids, no I was off to go see the professor again, and I saw my first wild Pokemon. And I beat it to death, mercilessly. My people will be free. At the professor's, I can finally name my Turtwig. I needed something menacing, so I chose Wamu. The professor asked me to record all the Pokemon in Sinnoh. That seemed like hard work, so I said no. Try again. But then he threatened me, so I said yes. Lucas met me outside the professor's office and took me on a tour around town. Like a date. Or was it? I have no idea. Boys are so confusing. I could be the one for you. You could be the one for me. I went home to tell my mom I was going to become a professional dogfighter. And she was surprisingly supportive. I left home for my great adventure. But not before slaughtering a couple more Pokemon on the way. I met up with Lucas again on Route 202. And he taught me how to catch Pokemon. Is this our second date? I could be the one for you. You could be the one for me. With my new knowledge on how to catch Pokemon, I caught a Starly on Route 202. I named it Grigori, after Russia's greatest love machine. I went back towards my home to Route 201 and caught a Bidoof that I named Yusupov, after Felix Yusupov. Prince of Russia, and participated in the assassination of Grigory Rasputin. This can only spell disaster. No time for that though, I have an adventure to get on with. That'll 